Shabbat Shalom. One of the ways that we really uh, put fear under our feet is that we have to come and fellowship. David says it this way in Psalms 34 and, and 3. He says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me, with me. Oh, let's magnify the Lord with me. He, he's calling a corporate assembly. He's, he's calling a congregation of the righteous, a, a ke'ilat. He's calling the house. He's, he's, you know, he's not calling the general public. He's calling those of humble spirit, those who, those who have a hunger in them, and they say, let's worship him in spirit and truth. Those who have made the word of God as a light unto their feet and a lamp unto their path. And he says, let's, oh Lord, let us exalt his name together. Um, uh, I, I don't know how, I, I can say this, I, I would not be free, I would not be in the place I'm at with the Lord in the freedom from the spirit of fear if it wasn't for twice a week, I'm either in House of David or I'm someplace where we are magnifying the Lord together. There, there's something, and it's so amazing because we go to different countries and we'll be singing in a language I have no idea, but I know that they are magnifying the Lord. There's, there's something about the, the numbers, magnifying the, the Lord, and it makes the name of God real. There's something that happens in the soul. Our souls are, are you know, if one could put a thousand to flight, two, ten thousand, and there's all the angels of God that come. It's so exciting when we're here at House of David and the different apostolic leaders from the nation are all here together, especially when they're in this pool. I mean, this place is electric because all the angels of God, it, I, I imagine in the spirit, this kind of looks like uh, Atlanta airport, you know, and uh, there's just planes everywhere. People are parked, uh, angels are parked on the tarmac waiting for a place to park. And I mean, this is a small place and there's just angels all around. And the magnification, the word of God, they're, they're all rejoicing because everybody wants him to be Jehovah Shalom. Everybody wants him to be peace. No one wants him to be Jehovah fear. No one wants him to be Jehovah doubt and unbelief. No one would want that. No one would even think that. No, they just want him to be Shalom. They want him to be Shama right now. They want him to be Jehovah Jireh. He's the one that provides. He wants to be Jehovah Rapha. He wants to be the one that heals. And, and everyone is agreeing with this. And as we sing the songs of the Lord and we worship together, it's magnified. You can't do that on your own. You need that magnification of the power of God. So, Father God, I break every assignment of the fear of assembly. I break all the fear that someone's going to reject you or hurt you. I break all the assignment of, well, I can't go into that denomination or that culture because they do that. And all those fears. I cut those fears off you in the name of Yeshua and come, let us magnify the Lord together.